I must have fallen asleep. Been pretty busy at work lately, but you know that already. You're always too busy for your family. You know I'm doing this for us. <laughs> and every woman wants freedom anyways. Be careful with how much freedom you give me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wonder if Aaron stayed overnight too. Honey, have you taken your pill? Of course I have. Alright, get home already. Man, I hate the reception in this building. <sighs> Gotta see if Aaron's still here though. Liz told me to start writing this journal. After all, women know everything. Let's get this over with. My name is Alexander Walker, and I've built the biggest graphic design company in the city. Alice Co. It took me 18 years of hard work and tough decisions, but here we are. Got a lovely wife and a beautiful daughter, Liz and Alice. I hope she takes over the business one day. The beginning is always the toughest, or so they say. Good thing I've had Aaron along my side. Loyal bastard's been through fire and ice with me. He ain't the brightest designer, but he is the best partner anyone could ever ask for. Might as well get home. Something very peculiar has been happening lately. Aaron's been bombarding me with these questions about Liz and our relationship. But whenever I try to get them to meet, he's always short on time. The guy has no wife, no kids, no nothing, yet he never has time to meet my wife. Due to that, she doesn't really think much of him either. It's just weird. Probably just me exaggerating, though, but... Actually, now that I think about it, she's been looking pretty stressed out recently. Spending too much time with Danny does that to a person, I guess. All the shopping and all that women talk. It just... gets to you. exactly how many sales we had in the first year. But for the life of me, I cannot remember this. And since you're the best hubby one could ask for, here's a little something. May it always remind you of how much I love you. Today, Liz finally introduced me to the person responsible for the journal idea. Meet Dr. Know-It-All. Alex, you need this. Alex, I know how you feel. And Liz, we've always had bumps along the road, but this one, this is way out of line. How could she go behind my back? Damn it! Only a doctor could say so many words without actually saying anything. Could it be my dearest wife is paying the doctor so she can keep me on a leash? He even mentioned I need to start taking some this will cure you pills or whatever. This is bullshit. I ain't taking 
anything. But I'll get her a psychologist. <sighs> really need to cool off. in their work as they are with setting this whole prank up. We'd be at the top. Huh. Locked door. Someone must be hiding something. All the more reason to break in. since she refurnished it. I actually haven't seen her in a while, either. I hope she doesn't quit to pursue modeling. Life is so easy. You're supposed to be a good wife? You be a good wife. You're supposed to show up for an important meeting? You show up for that important meeting. Only if everyone was doing what they're supposed to be doing. But no. No, Liz has to dance all over my nerves. Aaron has to disappear exactly when we have a meeting and sales have been going down, my marriage has been falling apart, and I'm sitting here writing in my little journal while my whole life is collapsing. <sighs> Just start a band, travel around the world playing hippie music by myself. Away from all of this. Yeah, what a perfect life. And I guess I just have to suck it up like a normal person and fix all this crap. Messages. Message one. Hey, Danny, it's Liz. Are you free this weekend? They're opening a really good restaurant downtown. Call me. Message two. Hey, Miss Pretty. There's a meeting. Thursday, 4 p.m. Be there. And you might want to start using your phone since you're not getting the secretary. Message three. Danny, pick up, please. I'm going insane. Alex is getting worse. He keeps going on about someone named Aaron. Can you check if there's anyone with that name that's working there? I don't know how long I can keep coping. Please, Danny. I need you. Call me. Damn it, Liz. Not this again.
away.